Good morning, YouTube, and what's up? So today, what I'm going to vlog is I'm actually not going to vlog. It's a descriptive vlog of the FZ25 kilometer. I have been receiving comments on my previous videos stating that to uh, you know what are the features of uh, this kilometer. So I'm going to solve all the queries in one video itself so stay tuned for more hey what's up guys so today we are going to do a small run through on uh, the fz25 speedometer i have been receiving comments in the comment section that uh, how many bars uh, equals to how many liters uh, you know some comments in regards to the speedometer so today i'm going to clear it all off for you guys god that crow so let's fire it up so this is off this is the startup okay now do you this is the neutral indicator this is the switch indicator the side switches side turn indicators so whether it's left or right only that one blinks okay this is the high beam so this is the high beam here okay so i'll just start up the motorcycle and show you that's the high beam and that's the pass light also okay and i don't want to light lights on so i'll just start it up again okay now what this you see this engine warning light if this thing comes on you're screwed in short so any error fuel injection error any error in the fuel system fuel pump also in case if you drop your bike this thing will on i'll show you again it's a yellow light that's a yellow light that you do want to see ever on your bike that's a yellow light there so that's the in, uh, that means your bike has an error if that all lights up and there will be a code displayed here so there will be a code displayed here now uh, when your bike falls down so if it's flat on the ground this won't this thing will blink and your bike won't start unless and all you switch it off and switch it on again so that's when it resets what that prevents is the bike uh, running when it falls so that it cuts off the engine completely but that light will still come on it's uh, like in case of bike tips then you know uh, there's a lot of problems that also can happen so that uh, is a warning sign so that does it so your an error code will be displayed here once this is on and then you'll have to contact the authorized uh, yamaha service center to actually uh, you know uh, rectify that now going ahead now this is the rpm meter it red lines at so at 10000 rpm this is the fuel meter right now there's only one bar after this there'll be another bar that will be blinking okay once that bar blinks there'll be a trip f that will display on the screen so this clock will go and there'll be a trip f that will come on so that i will show you once that happens so we'll toggle the switch so there's one mode button here if you see I'll show you okay this is the time this is my odo so i have done in total 4275 kilometers yeah that's this 800 700 kilometers for my fifth second service this is trip 1 so this is 361 kilometers on the odo trip 1 that will be trip 2 next 
this is your real time fuel indicator mileage consumption so when you're riding this will constantly fluctuate according to how you ride so it will show your current mileage as per your riding it's very distracting i don't use it this is your average so right now it's showing 33.6 but uh, as i said in my previous vlog it is uh, plus 1 minus 1 you can take it normally i get around 36 kilometers per liter 36 to 38 so this fluctuates and that's it now trip f will show on this itself so when you uh, toggle between the switches so after time you'll get odo after that you'll get trip f that is once your bar blinks now there are about six bars in this so i'll switch it off again and show you you see six so this is the halfway mark okay that's your fuel is half so that's one two three four five six once this gets depleted it starts blinking your trip f starts here and this means when it's blinking that means you have approximately two and a half liters of fuel i have checked this because when it's blinking when i have filled a ta uh, this so the tank is 14 liters when it starts blinking it's two and a half liters approximately so that's i fill about um, almost 11 and a half yes so if you take the max 11.5 plus 2.5 so that's 11.5 plus 2.5 roughly around 14 liters yes 14 liters so 2.5 to 2.1 liters so when that thing blinks that means you have to fuel up now uh, this is the speedometer of the fz25 it's a very basic speedometer not much also one thing that i miss is a battery indicator low battery indicator which they could have put somewhere here or somewhere here this thing does this bike doesn't have a kick so it drives completely on your battery so it needs a battery indicator yamaha if you're listening please incorporate this in all bikes battery indicator low level battery indicator so so i will show you trip f in the coming video Okay, so does the FZ25 have a rev limiter? Let's check. You see that? The blinking? That's the rev limiter. Trip F coming right now. Yeah, that's Trip F. And that's blinking. So, now it's time to refill my fuel tank. So, I'm right now going to the fuel pump to refill it. So, that 2.8 kilometers is that I've run 2.8 kilometers on the reserve so this explains trip f on the fg25 speedometer